Something's going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. Here I am with Jeffro and MPS. G'day guys, how are we doing today? G'day Dags. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, and the next thing we got, uh, I'm going to bring up MPS again actually because uh, one of the things that we're going to discuss is the year that was and we're talking about 1980. So MPS, what's the deal with what's going on? All right, so this was an idea I had during the week. I thought what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring it up for most of our, our viewers shortly. But we, I picked a random year, which happened to be 1980, 40 years ago. And I just thought, what actually happened in the world of pop culture 40 years ago? And we're going to get someone to choose a, a year after we finish doing this bit. Uh, and we'll talk about what happened in that year uh, next week. So what do you think happened in 1980? We'll see... Uh, what do you think the popular films are of 1980 were? And they don't have to be just sci-fi films either. As I've cheated. I've got a, a list of the science fiction ones, but the, <laughs> the non-science fiction ones, um, non I'd have to guess Rocky, perhaps? No, not Rocky. Uh, no. No? No. How's this? Nine to Five, Dolly Parton. Oh, yeah. Raging Bull. Coal Miner's Daughter, they were the, the, the popular films. We're not talking just pop culture, but popular films of the year. Uh, of course, there was Superman 2 and Empire Strikes Back. Uh, within the top 10 rock songs of 1980, uh, some of these I know, a couple of them I'd, I'd never heard of, but uh, number one was Call Me by Blondie. Yeah. Uh, Celebration by Cool and the Gang. Queen comes in there with another one bites the dust. Mm -hmm. You shook me all night long, Aka Daka. Yeah. And a bit of whip it action by Devo. Uh, ACDC had a second one, Back in Black. And Blondie had Rapture. So, so two from Blondie and two from ACDC in the top 10 rock songs of 1980. I now, knew every single song there. That's scary. <laughs> What about, all right, I'll give you the other two that I didn't know of. The Breaks by Curtis Blow. Yeah, that's a uh, rap rap one. Rap one, all right. And Once in a Lifetime by Talking Heads. Oh, I love Talking Heads. How do you yeah. not know that, MPS? Once in a Lifetime is famous. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just I can't get the tune in my head. That's why I did it off the top of my head. Okay. Now, here's an interesting thing. Technology. Techni tech, techni technology. <laughs> All the technologies. All right, so uh, the first available domestic camcorders were available in Japan. You want to take a guess at what one of those cost? A Ken Apes. Sell a kidney to get yeah. one. Yeah, they I would, were. I'd probably guess about uh, 50 million yen. <laughs> well, I think I've got it in US dollars, and the VHS home movie camera then was. $1,599. Now, mm. think of that back in the time of what things cost and how much that was. A Magnavox VHS recorder was only $700. So cheap. Um, a Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head cost $4.77. A Pontiac Firebird cost just under six grand. Or you can uh, suggest well, what Andy suggested, get a Rubik's Cube, because they came out that year as well. So uh, they did as well. I was going to get to that because I was going to say what else sort of happened. Uh, basic news of that year, the Rubik's Cube came out. Uh, politics enters the Olympic Games with the boycott by the US of the Moscow Olympics. Um, Post-it notes go on sale for the first time. Remember, you know how post-it notes came around? Yeah? yeah? No. Uh, I've heard the story, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. So roughly the idea of the post-it note was that uh, a secretary wanted a note that you could sort of uh, do something with, and they asked a glue company to do something. They had a glue that wasn't strong enough to adhere 
all the time, and the post-it note uh, then became real. So yeah. there good. you go. Uh, John Lennon was shot and killed in New York. Yes, he was. Uh, uh, and the biggest question of the year, yep. who That's shot John Lennon? Yep. Oh, yeah, right up my wheelhouse. 83 yeah, million people for it, apparently. So there you go. Yeah, they did. They did. And who shot JR? It was um, his secretary, I think. Yeah. Um, it's, it's been a while. It's been it a while, but I think it was, it um, I think it was his uh, secretary. Okay. His name was I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it hanging and let, let, the, let the viewers get one of those. His name wasn't Smithers, uh, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> And Ronald Reagan was elected president of the USA. Yeah. Uh, and also the release of the Pac-Man video arcade. Yeah. So you, mi there you, you, missed go. One, you missed one bit of interesting um, factoid. Apparently Richard yeah. Pryor put himself on fire while he was uh, free baiting cocaine. So, yeah. And he references oh. it in the film he made Jojo Dancer Your Life is Calling. So there you go. Okay. There you go. And there's there's... Plenty of other things, you know. Voyager One sends the the pro the probe sends its first high resolution images of Saturn back to scientists. Uh, confirms the existence of uh, Janus, a moon of Saturn. CNN becomes the first twenty four hour news station. Uh, and that's about it. I could go into who was born on that year, but I don't think that's as interesting as some of the things that happened. So there you go. That's roughly what happened in nineteen eighty. Very cool. Very, very cool. So in terms of the movie and the most important movies, you got you mentioned the Empire Strikes Back, we all know that. What about the other cool yeah. sci-fi ones, the ones that we really care about? All right. <laughs> I've I've got one of this you need it. Go for it, Jeffro. All right. So uh the first one was Saturn Three. Yep. And the description of that one is two lovers stationed on a remote base in, on an astro asteroid field of Saturn are intruded on by a retentive technocrat from Earth and he's charged a malevolent, malevolent, <laughs> that's all folks, 11 eight-foot <laughs> robot. The thing that reminded me uh, how dated this is, is that you've got a very old, um, uh, oh, geez, I'm having a senior moment here. Uh, you've got a very old, um, uh, <laughs> who's the guy that plays in Saturn 3? I can't remember. Uh, I haven't seen Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. Awesome. Yeah, very old Kirk Douglas, and you got a very young uh, Farrah Fawcett Majors. So it was like back in the 80s, they used to get all these old guys and just to stroke their ego, they used to put very young, beautiful women with them. So that was like sort of uh, one of the, the things that Saturn 3 was really all about, you know. Old hey. guys, young women. Hey, Jeff Rowe, can you just scoot yep. your chair across a little bit? You're uh, out of the picture, man. Scoot oh, okay. I've got my cheat notes um, in oh, the way. Okay. So there we uh, go. There we go. Yeah, your beautiful head. That's it. All right, keep going. Um, now, for all the B-grade movie buffs, we have Humanoids of the Deep. <laughs> Ringy bells. So scientific <laughs> experiments backfire and produce horrific mutations, half man, half fish, which terrorise a small fishing village by killing the men and raping the women. Now, what gets me is which half is the fish and which half is the man. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if that's really possible. <laughs> and, of course, we had uh, Empire not. Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah, man, and, yeah. And I'm reading this off the IMDb uh, description, and I won't bother with most of it. But the bit that got me was um, uh, his friends are pursued by Darth Vader and a bounty hunter named Boba, Hett, Boba Fett all over the galaxy. And all I could think of was the Benny Hill thing. What's the name of that tune? That was... Come on. What's the name of the Benny Hill tune? It'll come to me later on. Hang on, what would you say, PS? Lickety splits. No, that's wrong. No? No? No. Do we have anyone in the comments? Yeah, uh, so there you go. While well, they're uh, thinking of what to write, and don't cheat and look on the internet either, by the way. So uh, there you go. Uh, what uh, you've got? Um, good old, um, yes, thank you, PJ Yakety Sax. Well done. That's it. Sorry, yeah, that's it. Very good. Um, and you've got Galaxina. Got to make sure to talk about. Oh Galaxina. well, that was that was like two two lists on the uh, the right. list. So the next one I had was the final countdown. 
Yes. So anytime you hear that name, you think the final countdown. Um, so we all know that uh, that was all about a uh, aircraft carrier. Of course, uh, Galaxina, um, the crew of a split, uh, police. My tongue is really going blah today. Uh, the crew of a <laughs> police cruiser Infinity is finally heading home after a long stay in deep space. Just when they thought they were about to get some much le needed rest and relaxation, the crew is see full summary. So it's like, you know, that was the ultimate <laughs> IMD cliffhanger. It's like the crew is see full, <laughs> see full <laughs> summary. Now, the funny Battle thing Beyond the Stars was oh, yeah. another one. Yeah. So, right. um, and Flash Gordon, we do have also in the 1980s. So they were the, uh, the big movies of 1980s science fiction wise. Now, the thing about Galaxina, which is actually quite important, Galaxina is a Roy Rock female who's actually in real life was a Playboy bunny, right? And you're thinking, okay, well, you know, human beings, robots, you know, androids, they kind of don't sort of mesh well together in a uh, reproductive sense, right? So as it turned out, you could actually buy parts for the android as an upgrade. How good is that? Reproductive organs. <laughs> wow, I'll tell you what. Because you just never knew which one was AC and which one was DC. That was probably another problem. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly right. So I reckon Amazon, please uh, send over some reproductive organs for my Android. If you don't mind, umpire. So, and, and what happened? The batteries in backwards. Did it do everything in reverse? Maybe. There you go. <laughs> Had a very negative experience. So there you go. Very good. Well done. And I didn't even mention Popeye or The Fog or some of those other ones. Xanadu. So we were just looking at the uh, PJ's, stir crazy. Uh, PJ's mentioned Star Crash. I think you'll find Star Crash came out in 78 or 79, dude. So there you go. it was a 70s movie, not an 80s movie. Good guess, though. Yeah, yeah, good Close. guess. But, uh, now, here's, here's, here's just show how nerdy you can be. Here's a, here's a trivia question for you. What's the very, uh, according to Flash Gordon, where is Earth located? So there you go. If you get this, I'll be very impressed. So there you go. It's actually the first line of the movie. Mm -hmm. That's how you can remember it. So um, there you go. Oh, no, PJ's got Flesh Gordon. Dude, you're off target, mate. We talked about that last week, so uh, yeah, give it a program. <laughs> uh, anyway, so if you're interested, uh, if you want to know where Earth is located in terms of Ming, Ming's world, it's the SK system. So, yeah, Kalaitis, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? An obscure body in the SK system, Your Majesty. The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. How peaceful it looks. Anyway, so uh, it's the SK system. <laughs> There's more of that where it comes from. I can tell you that now. So, uh, yeah, the SK system. So, there you go. Anyway, MPS, over to you, mate. It's your show. No, uh, I think I've, I think we've covered a fair bit. So, uh, I saw someone put up 1983 before. I was thinking, what about the 90s? Someone give me a year from the 90s, and we'll look at that next week. All right. Very good. Um. Well, the good news is uh, now there's nothing more you want to talk about. The 1980, you're done? All done with 1980. Very good. Okay. We've still got 16 people. We've had mostly 16 people watching since the beginning, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you guys and uh, girls and guys have sort of stuck with the show. Um, but we don't want to go past an hour and a half uh, because the last thing we want to do is outstay our welcome. I know for some people it's this is the highlight of the week. It's very exciting stuff. But uh, now we like to finish uh, you guys wanting more because that way we know you're going to come back next week. Um, and the good thing is if you did join late, this actually does get saved on Facebook and you can, can go back and rewatch it all uh, if you feel so inclined to punish yourself. And uh, But, yeah, do that. Um, spread the word about the, about the show to everybody out there. And other than that, we're going to sign off. We're going to leave you all to it. And we'll see you next Friday. And in the interim, make sure you stay nerdy. Stay nerdy.